हेलो एवरी वन आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर एपिसोड इज डेडिकेटेड फॉर द स्प्रिंग एज यू नो माई अर्लियर सीरीज ऑल्सो सो हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू पेंट अवर ड्रीम बालकनी स्प्रिंग रिलेटेड सो दैट इज बेसिकली ऑन द फ्लोरल थीम एंड वाइल पेंटिंग इट यू कैन यूज एनी शेड्स यू नो एनी शेड्स विद द सेम टेक्निक द वे यू वॉन्ट टू डिपेक्ट योर ड्रीम बालकनी यू कैन डू दैट एनी स्पेसिफिक शेड वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू टेल अबाउट द टेक्निक्स यू कैन यूज दैट इन द डिफरेंट वेरिएशन सो लेट स्टार्ट दैट टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू यूज ए थ्री साइज यू नो दिस इज अ बिगर वन एंड आई हैव अ रेगुलर ब्रशेज यू नो माई ब्रश किट सो आई कैप्ट ऑल द ब्रशेज along with me other than that i'm going to use chalk because we have to draw the balcony you know at least basic shape and then this is the scale i'm going to use other than that in color side you know i'm you are going to use raw amber in the background along with the white instead of that if you have a burnt sienna raw sienna you can use any shade where you feel you know it's a slightly neutral because we want to focus more on balcony especially this should come out so you keep the background shades neutral so you can use any one of them raw sienna burnt sienna raw amber etc i'm going to use raw amber other than that for you know balcony we are going to use burnt sienna and flowers you can use any shades i'm going to use red you know yellow blue and the white and i'm pink also and pink you can mix it using uh, you know red and white and uh, for uh, pots you know specific pots it's again you know burnt sienna you can use it along with some white pot you might have seen the picture and that's all this is what we are going to do it so we'll try to finish it today if it is not been done we will continue in our next session so let's start that you know let me just adjust my camera so this is a a3 size sheet here so i'm just quickly going to start with the background first so this is a raw sienna sorry raw amber i'm going to take few drops of that if you have a liquid color you can use a liquid also that is also fine okay take a water and uh, just put some white also paper you can just pour some water also and just enjoy this activity but this is more you know for the uh inner happiness we are doing it so you can take a broader brush also if you have it broader than this and just you know put a vertical strokes here start blending it but do not completely mix it okay let it be slightly uh you know uh, not completely blended you can see that you know that's the reason we put that sequence of drops right so just do it in this way Slightly looks like chocolate shade only, black chocolate. And just uh, in the below portion, you can just slightly you know, expand that. it's a uh, basically paper so you can just you know use that so it will help to spread the colors you know uniformly and this side i'm going to just you know add it
let's you know take some bit of orange or red also so i have a rosiana let me take rosiana so I, i just want to you know make it some slightly lighter shade in the background so i'm going to put some drops around that and uh, just let's see. somewhat brick you know brick shade i wanted to do and we need you know a scale for that so we are going to you know create a first square so let's try this take you know roughly you can measure that also you can take roughly you know made of the this particular paper and here in vertical way we are going to paint the you know uh, balcony so uh, let's take it you know keep some margin and uh, just uh, vertical lines that will represent you know window or you can say entry na whatever window type is what it is and uh, for its window you can leave like this it's okay and try to be perfect it's fine and then this is window okay. and now here in this side we are going to draw the balcony okay you can keep it bigger also it's up to you how you want to keep it slightly deviation in angle you can correct it no issue so that is floor floor of the balcony see so it's a uh, floor now you know we have to put some slightly outer portion also where we will keep the pots okay extended form of balcony and uh, railing railing of it so for railing just uh, for the vertical lines and to uh, join them that's all it's a vertical one now side railing also you can do just you know join them everywhere is uh, scale is not required so part you can do it so this is fine and 
this particular part you can just join it using a scale only if required and uh, here it is so yeah this is fine now some vertical line you can use it here Remember for vertical line we can use sketch pen also. So you know, no need to use brush. So it, this is just to give you a view. You know how how we can draw that. That's all. Okay. This is a balcony, and uh, here it's again a you know a sedge. Okay, that's all. And here we are going to put a green, and this is its door. And door you can give some variation. Like I'm just going to put some wood, you know, wood lines. That's all. Okay, that's all. Let it be simple, and let's start with the background. Okay. So I have a, a blue with me. So I'm going to use slightly teal blue, which I have it uh, with me. You can use normal patello blue also. You. Have that, and uh, just you know, cover this background. And uh, do not forget to just you know enjoy this activity, and use your favorite shades, whatever you. we want to you know given the background but we are trying to depict here a slight bluish background so we can do in that way also so this is background now some shade of white also you can give it so i'm just taking some white and uh, you know giving that Slightly patchy effect here. That's all. That's all. Now leave it. Now use a. Round brush for doors, doors of the balcony, and you can use a wood shade, you know, burnt sienna, something around that, and you can slightly because we want to highlight the balcony, so we'll keep a slightly brighter color which is visible. So let's start with the base layer first. So base layer for the wood is, you know, this particular window is burnt sienna. so let's paint that and then we will do any other shade so this is what the base layer i'm going to paint it This is our first layer. Now, in this side also, other side, we will use the burnt sienna only to give a base layer.
layer for the window and you can use the round brush only and give a good color and use angular brush with some water and uh, give a slightly angular you know brush and side panel Take some light and uh, one more brush give some panel you know some wooden panel you can give it is good enough you can just uh, now in the top also there should be you know a wooden panel and bottom also so we can do that also Slightly brighter. So this is done. Now in the floor, the you can either you can keep it, leave it like that. So we'll leave it like that because when we are going to paint the brush uh, flowers, anyway it will be covered. So this railing part we'll do it later. Let's start with the pots first. So I have a burnt sienna already. So small, uh, you know, pots. I'll keep it on the top of railing, and the bigger one I'll keep it here in the extended version. So you can draw some pot here, and uh, picture is only for reference. You can do according to your, you know, the way you want to. For that, if you want to continuously put it, you can do that also because it's all, you know, dream balcony we are painting it. But technique, you can use it. Otherwise, the way you want to explain. You got the reading to do it. Now, two more. This is extended version.
something plus minus also because once you start painting the flowers right everything will be anyways it will not be visible that much focus will be more on you know flowers so painting is like that now let's take you know white shade and put some small pots also and we'll keep it you know we can make it slightly rounded shape so that you know it present shadow also so i'm going to take it here and i'm going to mix it so it's a green but it's a darker and i have that on my brush now what i'm going the way i want my plants to flow i can use the same technique to fill the background okay so let me start with this pot so do not bother about flowers etc just put the first layer you want them to roll up you know and then hanging like a uh, you know a uh, creepers or climbers you can definitely do that okay that will also look good something like that but ensure you are using the base shade okay and then just a normal plant also you can do like this you can see here and remember these are the outer side right so it will cover your railing so we don't have to do anything with respect to railing over it so that is a good way okay to save time also you can put a lot of plants so railing is not visible so work will be reduced now here you can just extend it version version you know, some creeper climber or whatever want to do it and some here in the small pot also that is for sale and uh, see how i am keeping the brush it is slightly straight you know and then i'm not using too much water otherwise this you know tapping part will not help so it's like the tree we paint right same way we are doing it here and uh, that's all just let me extend some more okay so this is your base layer now if you want to put a climber you can definitely do that so i have a fan brush you can use any brush or a shoe and you can just put you know some time boards also from this spot only to give a different look to your balcony that also you can do that okay that's all now that we 
with this much anyway. That's all. Now, take a lighter green. This is a light green. Yellow green it is called. So to save time, you can use the exact shade only. Otherwise, you have to mix it at that time. Mostly. So take a brush, flat, anything, same technique. But this time we will not cover. We will just tap it, not everywhere, some portion. Okay? Let's just do it like this. Not everywhere, please remember. We are not going to cover the existing layer. We are just putting some brighter leaves. On top of existing shade only and existing shade will work as a shadow you know in the background leaves so just do like this it's very quick technique you can see that see okay. and uh, do not override the brush what happens it will get mixed otherwise you know? just tap once and twice that's all too much now it doesn't uh, that effect will not be visible the tapping part this climber also we can cover slightly and just uh, one place once or twice only that's all okay. and do not take too much color also take very less and with this this is done okay this is our green part is done that's all now we can start with the flower so i you can use even one shade for flower also normally you know i want my dream balcony to have a lot of white flowers so i'm going to start with the white one okay so same technique same one i'm taking white and just put it here not everywhere, please remember, right? Flower doesn't come everywhere. Just leave some gap, some portion. Like this. Okay. And let the effect come. The green part also is required because it brings life, right? Greenery in the painting. So do not cover everything. If you are putting the flower, do not put everywhere, it will not look good also. This one I can put it some other shade, climber part. So I am going to use the red, you know, red for the climber. This is my red. I am going to take in palette. And same brush you can use or save the time you can change the brush also. See, I am taking this and just tap it. Not everywhere it will be too much you know red red so just uh, put some you know because green also we want to be visible not everywhere flowers we want some green we also other than blooming part okay so this is what it is can put some in between some red of you know, red flower also so i'll just overwrite some white so it's okay it will become slightly pink also no issue but somewhat you know red also in between This one I can make it some red rather than white. Okay. 
so with this actually we have almost completed this now only part remaining is you know these uh, arches especially so you can brush use brush only if you have it along with you know darker shade which is a black you can use that and uh, that's it or marker also if you want to use you can use it i'm directly going to use brush only and uh, just you know give that just cover those you know draw drawing which you did right as a background that's all and remember it's in front pots are in front so ensure you are not you are keeping that you know in focus that's it somewhere you can give it and put some you know uh lines also so that it is visible it's having railing that's all rest is already covered so nothing much is required and uh, that's all ah uh, one more place i'm going this one i missed it so no issue just cover that and this and some vertical arches you can show in between wherever you feel okay. everything anyway won't be visible but wherever it's visible you can show that much perfection about that okay that's all even if it's not coming straight that is also fine so with this we have you know completed our balcony and uh, if you have a time you can further refine it but for this particular episode you know i am calling it as a room you can see it's looking great actually that panel and then flowers everything came out you know really well and if you want to put some more climb board definitely you can do that so it's up to you how you want to depict it but this was you know basic techniques and i hope you enjoyed this activity and uh, please complete this and post your your pictures in the comment section and uh, i hope you will enjoy this activity and try it out and with this i am you know i am calling this a particular you know episode completed and i hope you really like this content so bye bye